Tom here and welcome back to my channel and let's have a look at Transformer Legacy Leader Class Blitzwing yeah obviously this is the G1 Blitzwing and I can't seem to imagine why they don't release him as a Siege or Earthrise figures but they wait until now so yeah let's begin so here we are and this is Blitzwing in his robot mode and I must say that of all the leader class from Legacy line so far, I think this wing, beautiful details, nice paint, good face, good head sculpt, and of course, a very G1 accurate look. You got the bulkiness, the squares, the backpack, and don't get me wrong, this is a figure where I expect to have some backpacks because that is how he looks in the movie, and of course, since he's a triple changer, I must say that this is the as far as they nail the figures. This is perfect. I really love this guy. As for the looks of the robot mode, so in that with me not lying, let's get to the details. So first we got his face and I must say what an excellent head sculpt. It's full of characteristic and it's just so blitzwing like. You got the bright yellow head, the red visor, the head lens, the sensor on the top. This look like a Gundam. And you got this beautiful paint, painted silver face which is absolutely perfect I must say I love this hat I love this hat so much this is one of the best hats I have seen by far this year now moving down to the torso and you got that purple with silver plus some yellow highlight onto the vent of his chest and this is a different yellow from the head while the head is a little bit glossy this yellow tends to be matte and with the black panel lining for the vent in between that perfect and of course you got some silver paint here and there on the ab section and if you turn him around you see the backpack this is so nice I love this I think this is called the sand color the desert colors and, uh, and it is just the perfect colors for a weaponized Decepticon like him you know full of combat looks just nice and for the arm section over here as you can see, this is pretty nice, but there's one detail that I don't really enjoy, that is this section over here. I mean, it doesn't affect the moving abilities of him at all, but I wish that they could have done some kind of tap to keep this piece in place, because it's just like moving around. Now, finally, we're moving on to the leg, and as you can see, beautiful painted front skirt and the thighs. The whole thigh section is painted which is like really nice in a really nice bright silver I wouldn't do any, anything to ruin this piece but be careful since you're handling this piece because this whole section is painted so it would be really easy for some paint trip to happen so if you handle this guy do be careful with the thigh section and that's the leg well that is just the normal robot leg the details here and there and we got that beautiful Decepticon sigils painted here that is just really look really military-like and that is astonishing and lastly for the feet and this is where I love him his feet is basically the thruster of the jet mode split in half and that just looks so nice I love this idea because if I'm gonna put him on an action base then I could pose him like this so like he's flying that is just really cool I enjoy this so much I wish as a leader he will have some like one or two effects to plug in here but don't worry the third parties will handle it and the final nice thing about this guy is that he got no hollow section on the leg i mean the arms do have some hollow but they are covered so yeah basically this is a, like a really solid figures and i absolutely enjoy him and one thing that I feel kind of sad about is that his hands here are solid because I mean like from the leader class Optimus since Earthrise you got that moving mechanism and even that Voyager class Hot Rod of Studio Series 86 got that so I am quite disappointed that they don't include that moving hands mechanism into this guy just imagine they have it here that would be really amazing so now we got the basic Blitzwing accessories pack this is his two blaster they are the same and so to equip them, you just simply plug it onto plug them onto his hands, and yeah, he can dual wield the weapon. And they have this to pack on each of the guns, so that is like for storage. You can store them anywhere you want, like here. Yeah. 
here. And or even here if you like to. So I guess I think that this look cool. And the other accessories that we got is his iconic sword. And what I like about this guy is that his swords are made from rubber. So like safely safety for children first and they it got painted in a really nice silver paint and since this is rubber you don't have to worry about it breaking so it's the same with the gun as the gun and you you have you do have the port to plug it anywhere you like and this is my favorite position for the sword well, you just plug it here and store it on his back and the final set of accessories we got with this guy is that these two big hands they are nice. They are two big pieces. Four, actually, they are four big pieces of red plastic. Got some paint. Got painted some purple on it. And to equip it, you just simply see this right here. Plug it onto his hand. So now he got bigger arms. In the beginning, when I saw uh, when I saw the promotional image, I thought this is will be the arm section for Menasaur, but it's not. So. Actually, I don't understand what this is for. I guess it's for combining with the other Decepticon clear weapon set of some sort, maybe. And they do have some articulation. So this here, get this forefinger can bend up and down and rotation. And that should be it. And you cannot close it. So it still looks kind of dumb to me. And now let's do some action and articulation. First, we got the head. You can look up and not really down. And you can do a 360. The, the arm section is the same as the uh, laser optimus, so like the, the arm, the shoulder armor stays, but then it moves, so it helps the figure to move. So swing out, bring forward, cannot bring back because of the backpack. It's blocked. You got a swivel, this is the elbow band, 90 degrees. The arms do have some. The hands have some move up and down, out, in and out. And this is what I like here. So you see that they're moving out and you got some part here. This looks really nice. Rotation. And you move to the waist, waist swivel. Nice. Kick to the front. And this armor piece, move out. Okay. Kick to the back. It's not really that great. This is split. Really nice. This is the thigh swivel. This is the knee band. Which is really nice. Look, just look at those piece, joint piece over here. That is really, really nice. This is the pivot. And you got some transformation feet. That should be. I mean, articulation wise, this guy is decent enough to be called leader. I do not expect a whole lot of articulation from this guy since he's a leader class figure. I mean, he can pull up most of pose, but I would prefer him standing and holding, uh, standing still and holding his weapon and hold this weapon. And now uh, for the final shot, the robot. Let's do some size comparison. And first up, we got the leader class studio series Blitzwing from the movie Bumblebee. And as you can see, this guy are quite similar in size, although Bumblebee Blitzwing is a little bit taller. But on the overall, Legacy Blitzwing gives us a more hefty feel, like it's more solid and chunky. And for some final comparison, here we have him next to leader class, Galvatron. And I just love the way Galvatron towers over this wing. It makes him look like a real leader of the Decepticons, which is nice. Now for the transformation. Since this guy's a triple changer, I'm going to transform him first into his tank mode.
And here we have the risk wing transform into risk tank mode. And this is where I must say that I hate this figure because what happened in tank mode? All oh, the tank looks nearly perfect except for that thing. And, 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 and if you look from this angle, you see, you clearly see his head. And I know I'm a little bit head over the hills, but to be honest, what the fuck is this for a tank? This is a bad tank mode because of this front section. It cannot cover up the head. And you can clearly see this is the jet cockpit. I don't want to do this. But yeah, everything of the other else of the tank looks okay. I mean, if you if I'm going to cover it, then I'm covering it like this. And you see, this is a fairly decent tank. And even with the thruster behind, I can explain. This is some sort of Cybertronian jet that, yeah, it works. But not the fucking front section. And of course, that is the clearly disappointment of this guy over here. And this is the turret of the tank. And it can rotate, which is nice. And it can move up and down. It's just tight, up and down. So that is like a really nice, gim cool gimmick. And yeah, that is just another tank. I don't want to talk about this. And because this is this is clearly a Blitzwing. And if we flip it around, you see. This is the gen mode, so I guess in the other mode you can flip it up over again. But what the fuck is the excuse for that? You can clearly make a chest open and pluck that shit in. And so that is this for the and you don't and the trench don't move, you have some kind of wheels. And it rolls pretty well. And of course you can accessories accessorize all his weapon onto him. And for the final gun, you can plug it here or on top of him. This looks cool, except for the front section. This is a 0 out of 10. Never display Legacy Blitzwing in his tank mode. Just never. And for some size comparison, here we have him next to another gun turret, which is Galvatron. And as you can see, Galvatron is like... This is Galvatron is like really big. They're both leaders, and Galvatron is just like... Oh, so big, so big. But yeah, this we can transform into two forms. So now let's go. And here we have the jet mode. I must say this is also looks terrible but better than the tank mode. This is too bulky for a jet and I guess we can't have it since this poor figure has to carry both tank and jet forms. Just look at that huge chunk of thingy under his wing. How can he possibly find that? And yeah, just this is the tank mode flip over. And I must say, it looks decent enough to be called a G1 jet, and for Blitzwing, I guess, this is what we would expect him to be. So, nothing too special here. This is Blitzwing, and this is the triple changer, and the worst combination of a tank and a jet. Which, by the way, is not relevant to one another. How can a tank fly? It obviously can't. And yeah, this is what we got, and I still appreciate it. I still think it looks cool. And in this mode, you see clearly see there's an orange cockpit over there, and it just looked kind of okay to me, to be honest. Nothing too much to say about this mode, and you can still equip all his weapon onto him if you want to. Gun goes here for some under under wing blaster.
and you've got the swords can go here, even though it's just not gonna work. Uh, and this is just I don't I'm, I'm not gonna add the two arms up, okay, because it just looked stupid. No, let's not do that. And yeah, so for some size comparison, here we have him next to the other Blisswing. The Blisswing from Bumblebee, and as you can see, this is one is like a clear jet from the start, and the second is a tank fucked jet, and this is what we came up with. It tries to be both, but it failed at both, and I think the only mode that works for this guy would be the robot mode. So that is the, my review for the Legacy Blitzwing. What do you think of this figure? I mean like this guy could have been better if they release him as a Siege or Earthrise figures. And otherwise this guy is clearly a robot display's choice. Don't ever display this guy in the alternate mode because they are horrible. He tried to be both just like the G1 is like that is his original concept but always failed. I think this guy is the best looking at his robot mode. And nothing else. And that is my review of the leader class, Blitzwing. What do you guys think of him? You gonna have him or not? Tell me in the comment section below. And yeah, come on.